Good afternoon, my name is Jim Conlon and welcome to the latest episode of our sports show. As you know, a feature we've been speaking to renowned uh, sports stars to look back at some of their iconic uh, moments in, tr- in terms of their career and what moments uh, stand out. And our special guest uh, this evening is the one and only uh, David Coulthard. Uh, David Coulthard, uh, as we know, a Formula One legend, uh, 246 Formula One races. Uh, he's pole positions 12, fastest laps 18. He won in total at 13 grand Grand Prix victories, uh, 62 podium finishes, competed 15 seasons in Formula One between 1994 to 2008, and was a runner up in the 2001 championship for McLaren. And I suppose, David, a special feature that we've been asking some of our sports stars is look back at the probably the five top moments in terms of their career that start to stand back and count down from uh, back from five to one. And obviously, then a, a special bonus, then in terms of um, one moment, then that doesn't include themselves in terms of their own sport and Formula One in terms of a race that they might have really enjoyed and sort of looked on and that's our sort of wild card as such so uh, David uh, just starting off uh, what would be the moment that uh, will come in for you at number five? Uh, well I guess um, you, uh, you've got to recognize the moment when I first drove a Formula One car when I was 19 uh, I'd won an award uh, called the, young, the McLaren Autosport Young Driver of the Year and uh, that meant that at 19 years old, I got to drive the McLaren of Ayrton Senna and Gerhard Berger. It was a V12 Honda. And it was the moment I realized that a Grand Prix car is just a car. Yes, it's fast and a lot more uh, challenging than the cars I've been racing in the two years previous. But it was uh, a point where I suddenly thought that this is possible. I can be a Grand Prix driver. I think you've gone on mute. I'm sorry, I've lost you there. Can you hear me still? Hmm. Very strange. Oh, perfect. David, probably apologies, I was on mute. Uh, David, uh, uh, David, in terms of number four, uh, what would be your sort of iconic moment? Would it be the wild card or would it be your debut or one of your first uh, victories? Well, I think debut, although it was uh, an emotional roller coaster because it came after the death of uh, Roland Ratzenberger in Imola and also Ayrton Senna. But um, even out of that tragedy, of course, life goes on and it led to me being promoted from test driver to race driver. So um, it was the first step for me to um, realize that my desire to, to win Grand Prix. Okay, and uh, we move on. We five four in terms of uh, number three for you. What would uh, start to stand out? Well, I think that uh, you know, getting getting your first points is is a logical next step towards being a Grand Prix winner. So at the Canadian Grand Prix in nineteen ninety four, despite losing the feeling in my uh, right foot due to uh, uh, basically not being fit enough and having a bad seat position, uh, I managed to bring the car home in fifth place and pick up my first points. Okay, so we've got your first points. And uh, in terms of number two, what would uh, stand out for you? Well, two and one, I would have to spin around because uh, it would either be, number one would either be winning the British Grand Prix or number one would be winning the Monaco Grand Prix. And the reason, of course, the British, because I'm a British driver and and to do that was the realisation of sort of childhood dream. But the reason I mentioned Monaco could tie for number one is it's such a crazy place to have a Grand Prix, you know, to go around the streets of the Principality, tight, twisty, you know, it, it's, uh, it's a crazy place, but when you manage to avoid the barriers for two hours and you win the race, it's, it's pretty special. I think you might have gone to mute again because I've lost you. Perfect. Sorry, uh, David. Uh, and we've gone now from two in terms of points. We've gone to podiums uh, in ter- and we've gone to victories. But in terms of number one, what's the most iconic moment uh, that sort of stands out for you? Well, actually, we before uh, having victories, I think it was when I was test driver for three world champions when I was at Williams. It was Nigel Mansell, then Alan Prost, then Ayrton Senna. These are three guys that I watched as a kid growing up in Scotland. And I'll never forget the feeling of working alongside them, sitting in the car in the garage opposite them and realizing that 
I was now working with champions and I had an insight to seeing how they go about driving. So there's the wild card, uh, you know, favorite moment, pinch yourself moment is uh, the, 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 you know, the opportunity to share with some of the greats and uh, to experience just what made them so special. And David, there are the five moments in uh, what has been an iconic uh, sort of uh, Formula One career. But if you finally uh, a sort of curveball to throw at you now, if you had to pick one sporting moment outside of uh, Formula One for you, maybe it was a childhood memory growing oh. up, maybe it was it something you watched on TV, maybe it was an old sport uh, you participated in yourself that still stands out for you in terms of growing up, whether it was football or cricket or or whatever in Scotland, what is that sort of moment too that you look back with in fond memories? Well, we, as a family, we always travelled together in a motorhome to go racing on the weekends, but the, the, the whole family were very keen on boxing. So I remember uh, many occasions stopping the motorhome, trying to get the signal on the television so we could watch Barry McGuigan fighting and, and, and other great boxers from, you know, not his weight division, but from that era, there was, you know, Marvin Hagler and Sugar Ray Leonard and, and various middleweights. Uh, and of course, right through to uh, Frank Bruno as a as a heavyweight. So, uh, but but you know Barry McGuigan was someone that I, I particularly I think my mother had a wee shine for him particularly <laughs> particularly. So we, we always used to make time to watch his fights and and uh, remember when when he lost in the heat of Vegas. But uh, he he was a great boxer, a great champion, and uh, I really admire. Uh, there's there's nowhere to hide as a boxer. Uh, on that note, uh, David Coulthard, thanks for joining us today to share your five iconic moments in terms of uh, your Formula One career. You're obviously your core ball and obviously that moment outside of Formula One. David, an absolute pleasure. And always, I know you're flat out busy uh, with Formula One at the moment. Thanks for taking the time to, taking time to speak to us today. And hopefully, please God, we'll speak to you sometime in the near future. David Coulthard, take care. Thank you very much.